So this is the Flame AA, and we have a gas tank back there of acetylene, an airline coming in. We have a computer for capturing all the data, all the different parts. We have our water bottle in the sipper tube, which introduces the sample into the flame. Over here is the different light sources. So every instrument has a source, sample introduction, and a detector. So these are the sources. Each one of these is specifically designed for the metal you want to analyze. So we're looking at lead, and sure enough, the lead lamp is on and warmed up. So that light goes up into here, gets collected, and comes through this part. And once this gets going in a second, the burner actually right there will be lit up with fire and the light will come through. Our sample gets taken up, the water gets removed and goes through the burner. The sample gets excited by the light and all the light emitted gets collected over inside over here where there's a detector. The detector sends it over to the computer and we read that data out as a number. Oh, so it won't let me do it with the flame open. But and now we have fire. So within that burner right now it's just drawing up a little tiny bit of water and what we can do is we can remove it into the air and you'll hear the sound of the flame change as it's not having to evaporate water anymore. And it changes so we go back into millipore and so the millipore just keeps everything nice and clean eventually we're going to blank it out with DI water and then run the samples through. So are we ready to run samples? Sure. All right. So let's first do the method. So we just hit start. First thing it's going to do is balance the flame, prepare for instrument zero, which is just with the millipore water. Hit OK. And it's going through its whole delay process. Yeah, that's 10, 20. So we're going to standardize first. I see. Our curve, and then oh, we're cool. So we have 10, 20, 30, and 40, right? <laughs> All right, well, it looks like our calibration curve came out good. Good, good. So what this is doing, we have uh, this calibration axis is already calibrated for a certain number of absorbents, but what it's doing is comparing concentration versus absorbents, the calibration curves that you have all come to love and know. That's right. So we have the concentration down here in milligrams per liter, and the absorption axis is unitless, as again, you should all know. Okay. So, WAN solution, uh, site A, north side, group number four, this is Madukas class. There you go. Mm -hmm. Try and try and leave it towards the top because it has a lot of sediment in the bottom. Oh, I see. Now you can see the color. Oh wow, yeah. Not much. Wait, am I? It's about two grams per liter. Keep going. Yep. All right, next solution. Let's just wipe down the outside. All right, should I wipe? Yeah, wipe it down, then put it in the DI. All right, what do you want to put done ones? Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Wesley Sutra, group one, my class. Go ahead. I can't believe you guys Did trust me with this <laughs> instrument. Like, go ahead? Yeah. I mean, it'll save it anyway. Yeah. Here is yeah. the flame color change. Now look at how orange it is. Oh, what up? Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, that is some lead. Leslie Sutra.